It was in 2008, during the aftermath of Hurricanes Gustav and Ike and a devastating tornado in Oklahoma, when we last saw Tadagoglia. As soon as we see a threat striking anywhere in the United States, uh, if we feel it's severe enough, we leave immediately. Once the owner of a disaster recovery company, Agoglia has experienced clearing roadways and removing debris. Now, with his nonprofit, First Response Team of America, he spends his life going from one disaster to the next. He became a CNN hero in 2008. The most critical phase of a disaster is the first few days. That's when you have to find the people that are in desperate need of medical attention, food, of water. But if you pull up and there's a building lying in the middle of the road, or if 20 miles is underwater, well, how do you get all those resources to those people? He does it by using cranes, earth-moving equipment, and crews to respond to disasters. You know where we can be of some help? What he once did for a living, he now does for free. Right, Haiti is Agoglia's first international disaster mission. He's working in City Soleil, one of the poorest neighborhoods in Port-au-Prince. I've been to 27 disasters in the United States in the last three years. But this is unlike anything I've ever seen. With the help of relief organization Samaritan's Purse, Agoglia loaded up this barge in Florida with the heavy equipment and supplies he'll need to help clear streets and buildings in Haiti. His first job is to clear this collapsed church and rebuild a surrounding wall to give the people here a place to go for help. We're going to make this place a safe and secure area where people can line up outside and come in one by one, get medical attention, food, water, tents. Another CNN hero is also at work here in Haiti. Last year, Doc Henley showed us what he calls his life's passion, providing clean water to people in need. Approximately one billion people lack access to clean water. It's killing more children than AIDS and malaria combined. And yet all of that can be prevented. This former bartender now spends his time in places like Darfur, Uganda, and Cambodia, providing people the tools and education to have clean, sustainable water. Whether we're filtering water or filling a well, we want to train and educate people that are already on the ground, enabling locals to fix their own water needs. We caught up with Henley on one of his first days in Haiti. The sight of kids suffering and needing water was almost too much for him to bear. She can't get well if she doesn't have anything to drink. Armed with water filtration systems, Henley plans to head out to other areas of Haiti where the needs for clean water haven't been met. There's no other place in the world uh, where I need to be or where anybody else needs to be right now that has the ability to help with water because this is, is it's a horrible situation. A horrible situation, exactly where these two CNN heroes need to be.